guys and welcome back to my channel. Today you're watching a Q&A video where I answer all your aviation related questions that you guys left for me in the comments below or on my Instagram or in that post I put up asking if you wanted a Q&A or not. I'm going to try and answer as many questions as I can. I cannot assure that I will be answering all the questions you guys have left me. If I missed any, let me know in the comments below so I can do a part two and answer those questions for you. If you guys want to become pilots, you guys should definitely check out my aviation motivation series that is playing in the background right now. I will have it linked in the iCard and in the description below. It is an amazing series that will motivate you and inspire you and keep pushing you forward to reach your goals. And my dog just moved my tripod, so it's okay. And I will also have my other pilot life videos linked down below in the description and in the iCard. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It is the big red button that says subscribe and also hit the bell notification right next to it so you will be one of the first people to watch my videos when it comes up. Also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at lightning07. It is way easier for me to pick questions and read it out of Instagram and answer it. So next time onwards, I'll be asking it on Instagram. If you want to be a part of the next Q&A and ask me a few questions, you can do so on Instagram and you can start by following me on Instagram and whenever I post a story with the question, you can always ask me. Now that being said, let's get into this video. Come on! Okay, before we get started, let me just answer all the basic questions that you guys asked me, the very repeated questions. So the first one a lot of you guys have asked me is whether I'm an Indian or not. Yes, I am an Indian and I am here in the United States, in California to be particular, doing my flight training. The next most popular question is whether I'm a student pilot. I am a commercial pilot. I got my commercial certificate in February 2020, 20th February 2020 to be precise. And this is the date for all you Americans out here. So this is when I got my commercial license and this is one of the best feelings I've ever had. None of my other licenses bought me this much joy as much as my commercial did. So it is a one of a kind feeling. This is when I got it. It's over a year ago. That's when I got my commercial license. Oh, by the way, I also got my vaccine. It's been going pretty good, except for a little pain in my arm at the injection site. Everything else is good. Question number one. Dia has written this question for us. She says, first of all, thank you so much. Thank you so much because you watch my videos and leave such positive comments. It really makes my day whenever I see your comment pop up. So thank you. Her question is, is doing bachelor's and master's in science good for a backup plan as I'm an Indian student? Okay, here's the deal, right? It is always good to have a backup plan, but, but, Hear me out. While you're doing your degree, it's going to take you three to five years. If you're doing your master's also, it'll take you five years. So do you want to be spending five years on a degree that you won't be using and then later on starting your training? Every minute is valuable, right? And if your dream is to get into the airlines, everything there works on the basis of seniority. So the sooner you get there, the sooner you get to the captaincy and the more hours you make. So five years is a long time. So decide if it's worth it. If your goal is to become a pilot and you cannot see yourself doing anything else in life, then you can just skip this step. But again, you won't have a net to fall back on. It might be a good thing sometimes because you will be so much more motivated to get somewhere with this pilot thing. It is a good idea to get a degree as a backup, but it'll waste your time, a lot of your valuable time. I'm a pilot and I did my degree together while I was doing training. It is a lot of work. Yes, doing one thing at a time is obviously a lot of work and I did both together. Like I said, I got my commercial last year and this month in May, I will be graduating with my degree. And if you can handle a lot more work, then do it simultaneously and it might just work out. And my degree is in the field of aviation, so it is not really a backup plan, but it is just aiding to my licenses, if it helps. Question number two. So Arhan asks, but how to pay for pilot training? 
Well, Arham, that's a very good question. We all have been there. We've all pondered about this. Pilot training is extremely expensive. Let's face it. It is sometimes a lot of money and sometimes we just can't afford it. There are a lot of ways to pay for it though. There are loans, there are savings, and a ton of other ways. I made a full video explaining how you can pay for your pilot training. I will have it linked below and in the iCard right now, whatever you see here, that is the video. It tells you how you can pay for your pilot training, where to arrange the funds from, and even free training opportunities and scholarships. So check it out if you are also worried about how to pay for pilot training. Okay, next question. Shania asks, so I'm from India and I want to pursue a career in aviation. I'm 17 and I really want to know from where do I start? Is there an exam to be given first or should I directly apply to flight school? I'm really confused. So could you help me as to where to start? Okay, Shania, you asked a very good question. This is going to help out a lot of people. And if you are also a young adult trying to get into aviation, this one is for you. First thing I want you to do is do your medicals. Do your DGCA medicals. I don't care if you're going to do your training in India or somewhere else, in any other country, but do your DGCA medicals first. Do your class two medical, then your class one medical. You want to get this out of your way. Let's say you didn't do this, you did your training abroad, you came back, and then you do your medicals and you find out that you are not medically fit to be flying in India and all the money you spend on your training is kind of down the drain right now. So do this first. DGCA medicals, class two and class one, first step. You also need to have passed physics and maths in class 12. If you have done this, good for you. If you have not done this, take an exam that is equivalent to class 12 physics and math to get the certificate so you can get your career in aviation in India. Next, I want you to clear all your DGCA papers, all the exams, finish it and get it out of the way. Do your classes, do your studies, get these papers out of the way, clear them, and then start looking for flight school, either in India or in any other country that you wanna go. So if you plan to fly in India, you won't have to do conversion when you come back and DGCA conversions is fairly slow so you won't have to wait. So you'll be saving money, time and effort in this process. As you're looking for flight schools, you will see that each flight school is different. Most flight schools do not have an entrance exam, so you will just need to apply to them and they will accept you. And some might have entrance exams, so it depends on the flight school you're picking. So make sure you do your research, pick the right flight school and start applying. That should be your next step and it should take you to your licenses. The next question is, after commercial, do we have to do type rating straight away or what should we do? So in India, after your commercial is done, if there are vacancies and you're getting a job, then you can go ahead and do your type rating. In the US, however, you need an ATP license and 1500 hours before you can get into the airlines. So doing your type rating as soon as you finish your commercial is pointless here in the US and also figure out if your job is going to pay for your type rating because some people pay for it, most people do not. So just figure that out and then do your type rating if you're getting a job. If not, then build some arts and then go ahead into that. It is almost 2 a.m. right now and I'm editing the Q&A video that I shot today. And when I finished editing half of this video, I realized that this video is going on for way too long. So I'm splitting it in half. This is the first part and the second part of this video will be coming out very soon. In the next part, I'll be telling you a story about my flight school. A crazy story. You need to listen. And I'll see you in that video very soon. Until then, signing off, Lightning Girl. Bye.